Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate all of your love and support in this reading. We're going to find out who has been thinking heavily about you and why. Today is the 27th of August, 2023. Time here in Hoi An, Vietnam is... What is the time now? 6.56 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And if this video finds you, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Who has been thinking heavily about them and why? Bear in mind that it could go vice versa. Roles can be reversed between you and this person. Two of Wands are reversed at the bottom of the deck. This person is really sad, right? Three of Swords here. Hmm. Something must have happened between the two of you. They could be thinking heavily about you right now because you're heartbroken. Four wants here is in love first. There's instability within your connection with this person or a separation. Three of Pentacles here is in love first. Not getting along, not seeing eye to eye, or again, can indicate some sort of separation, okay? Not working as a team. Um, for some of you, some of you, not all of you, maybe there's someone who has hurt you or put you in a third party situation. Third party may not always mean love triangle. But it could also mean that there could be some external factors, internal factors that could be meddling into this connection, okay? And we've got the Fool here. So this person could be an Aries, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, somebody like you are, King of Swords here, or the Empress, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. The world, not a wands. This person is thinking heavily in regards of like, I just don't want this heartache this sadness to continue okay so the six of swords is maybe them thinking about perhaps wanting to move towards calmer water with you or perhaps sort of like moving away from the scenario here where maybe both of you are getting hurt or feeling hurt by the separation or by this imbalances can't agree to something or because of a third party situation could be any of those things okay the fool is them thinking heavily in regards of you know i do you know two different versions i'm picking up here just again take what res needs because the fool is like either it can be a release as in like okay i just want to release myself i want to close this chapter with the world because it's just way too painful for me to continue this or a second version will be them thinking about, I would like to take a new leap of faith. The fool take the risk with Gemini, Libra, and Chris because they see your worth and your value. Empress is in the right position, right? Could be that as well. And the King of Swords. Ten of Wands, he had one first. Maybe this person will be thinking heavily about how, okay, it's time to plan. It's time to get serious. It's time to... Uh, not carry the burden, not carry all of the hurt and pain, or not carry the negativities uh, back into this connection. Um, two of Wands, here is a Mount Verge, they're thinking heavily in regards of a decision that they perhaps could be trying to make right now, or decision that they have made or you have made in the past, okay? Let's see a little bit more here. Page of Swords is a mob first. Maybe there's someone you have been thinking about heavily as well or keeping tabs on. You may have been kind of wonder, you may have been wondering what they're up to, are they done with you or not? Because the world can indicate an ending but also a new beginning because it's a closing of a chapter and, and a new chapter begins, right? Um, some of you, it could also go vice versa. Maybe this person is thinking heavily in regards of if you have already closed this chapter with them are you done with them and the judgment it's it, it could be them 
also thinking about like bringing up the past, right? Thinking about the past or past conversations uh, between the two of you. And the nine of wands here, somebody got hurt. Yeah, somebody got hurt. Could be both of you or one of you. I'm picking up on maybe both of you. And then we've got the two swords here. Well, first, again, there are two cards here that indicates a decision that has been made or both or your de the decision you have made and the decision that they have made because there are two cards here, right? Hmm. There's something about them thinking either, ah, perhaps this could be them feeling split into two, right? Should I just forget about this, liberate myself from this and just walk away? Or should we just hash things out with a judgment right here? Should we talk about things and see if this could be salvaged, if this could be fixed? Because the Three of Pentacles here is in one first. It's in one first because I feel like it hasn't been decided yet. Maybe a decision that has been made, but they could be thinking about changing that decision as well. We've got the Six of Pentacles here. They could have been thinking heavily in regards of everything that you've given them, how kind and compa compassionate you've been to them, towards them. Uh, it could be anything but something that you've given to them, okay? It could also be anything that you've given to them that they may still have it. Uh, something physical, something material, that they may still have it and they may come across it and then think about you as in like, oh, air signs gave this to me could also just be looking back at pictures or something. I feel like it is something you have given this something to this person that this person is still keeping. It could be something as little as a card, as a scarf, a t-shirt, or it could be a souvenir. It could be anything, okay? Some sort of a gift that I'm picking up on. So they could be thinking heavily about you right now because... They may have looked at the gift. They may have, they may still be carrying the gift with them, okay? That you've given to them. So I do see this person like it's very conflicted in between, between like if we carry on, then it's, if we fix, if we try to fix things or carry on with this connection, more of hurt and pain will be inflicted onto them, onto you, but also at the same time, it's like, can we can we just talk and hash things out and then plan and strategize? Because King of Swords is a strategic king, right? Let's do it the right way this time around and let's take a new leap of faith. Let's try to move forward and move on from this situation, from this, again, less than ideal situation that both of you could be in right now. Hmm... So I do definitely sense I'm thinking heavily in regards of, hey, um, we really need to talk, whether if both of you should talk or not. Also, that's another question. And the page of swords and lovers, they could be thinking about you not trusting them or maybe judgment, you're trying to find something out in regards to them. Could be any of those things. Hmm. Anyway, Air Science, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. However, if you'd like to book me for a live reading, video WhatsApp call, uh, you can click on the first link. It's new. There's a new service. It's on the, the first paragraph. I mean, the first, yeah, first paragraph in the description box below. It's a link to the link tree, to my link tree ac account, um, where you can, where I can do your tarot reading live, uh, again, through via, uh, through WhatsApp video call for 30 minutes straight. Basically, you can ask me any questions within 30, 30 minutes, except for health questions. Um, and the second service I'm offering is that if you wanna chat with me for one hour, Tell me your problems. If you want to hear my advice, we can play a bit of tarot as well if you want to. So just putting it out there because I notice a lot of my clients always like to tell me their stories. Perhaps they would like to vent or rant to me. Um, so yeah, there's something out there.
that I'm off that's something like that, that I'm offering so if you like to uh, book me for that you can click on the uh, first link in the description box below okay and for those of you who like to be notified every time I post your videos and every time I go live don't forget to hit on the bell notification button whenever I go live this is when I do all 12 individual sign readings I know some of you have been complaining about me doing collective readings but uh, this is when you're going to catch me doing all of the individual sign readings, okay? All 12. And, you know, just bear with me because I keep changing. I I just don't want to get bored. Sometimes, you know, doing the same thing over and over again, you just feel like like you're stuck in a rut. If I don't work in a 9-to-5 job, I wouldn't be on YouTube channel. In fact, I've never really worked a 9-to-5 job my whole life. Um because I know I wouldn't be happy. Anyway, so just bear with me. Thank you so much for each, uh, for being with me, especially for those of you who have been with my channel for a long, long, long time. Really, really appreciate each and every one of you. But anyway, I hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Take care. Bye.